Alright, this is a video for all my fellow writers out there. Um, it's a tough world, I'm not going to lie, it's a tough world for writers. Um, not, not because of any economic or competition, but because of the education that writers get. Um, just as an example, I was reading this book on writing, and um, uh, it had mentioned something along the lines of, uh, if you don't know the ending, when you're trying to write your beginning, you don't know the book, so start over. And it's, I mean, there's tons of stuff like that where it just kills you as a writer. And you, you, you know, you, you think you know what you're doing, and you, you're trying to go along, and you don't know the ending yet, and that must mean your your book sucks. So you just throw it. I mean, I could go, I could go on, I could write a book about all the crap that is put out for writers to believe and follow, and. Um, I'm here to tell you that writing is far more enjoyable than you ever imagined. It's far more easier, and you have far better chances of making it than you ever imagined before. Now, I know that's a lot to say, but it's true. Um, the book, The Writer's Phoenix, um, uh, is free for members, and you should read it. If you have any disagreements or whatever, I'd love to hear back from you so I can grow as a writer myself. Um, I'm in the middle of writing a book, and it's honestly the first book that I'm going to be finishing. I've been writing my whole life. I have a briefcase full of story, great story ideas, but finishing a book was always my biggest challenge. And in the book Writer's Phoenix, oh, actually, as an interesting point, is I knew I couldn't finish a book for the rest of my life until I finished that book on how to write. Funny enough, but who's going to listen to you about writing if you ha if you're not famous, right? You know, you're, everyone's welcome to your opinion. If you want to wait until I'm famous, you're fully welcome. But if you'd like to read the free book um, that is based on, you know, J.K. Rowling's and J.K. Tolkien's biographies and notes of how they went about it, then I encourage you to. Um, I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? Um, so definitely um, read that. Just to give you a couple of hints of what you'll find in that book. Um, uh, I don't want to say anything, give anything away uh, specifically, but at the least, as a writer, any burden or shackle or self-criticism or whatever that you've been feeling will be blown away. Um, I destroy the idea of formula. Um, I destroy... Uh, fixed arbitraries that have been put onto your shoulders for a long time. And one key that um, I could, I'll just go ahead and give out there is, um, at the end of your story, ask your hero whether or not he'd be re re willing to relive it all again, experience all the same gains and all the same losses. His answer doesn't mean, doesn't answer whether or not your book is good, but the speed and the amount of which people will tell other people about the book if it was properly earned. Um, so, um, and go ahead and apply that key to your favorite movies and stories. Ask the hero if they'd be willing to relive it all again. Most of the stories that really make it, the hero would say, hell yeah, you know, or uh, something along those lines. Um, the twisty indie stories where the hero isn't really sure, it's tough. And um, that brings me to another point that I'm sure you're worried about of like, um, oh dear God, does that mean I have to sell out to the Hollywood ending? No. And to clear something up, the Hollywood ending is not a happy ending. The Hollywood ending is the not earned happy ending. Amazing grammar, I know, but, um, hey, uh, you know, or in other words, it's, it's, it was the forced happy ending that the writer didn't earn. That's the... Hollywood ending, when you really honestly earn those positive endings, and you really grew with the character, and you really found those morals, and the mentors, and the whatever that made it all possible, that's, that's priceless. That's really priceless. When you as a writer dig into the deeper messages, deeper meanings, the bigger questions of life, even the simple ones, especially the simple ones, that's when you're really not just making a buck, but you're doing a service. When people watch those kind of movies, they grow, they get inspired. 
you know, it makes a difference. And that's also what this book is about, helping you to make a difference. Um, uh, I forget what, what I called it, but it was like the Epic Storyteller's Hand Common Sense Common Denominator Guide for Epic Storytelling or something like that. And I said it much better on paper, but that's exactly what it is. Um, so again, if you have any questions, comments, fears, uh, hate mail, whatever, just hit me up. And uh, yeah, I'd be happy to answer any questions or you know whatever that you might have. Um, and uh, yeah, and I definitely, I definitely appreciate feedback on the Writer's Phoenix book. Um, you know, because then I can grow as a person too, and um, and I'll make it better. And can kind of like grow as a society.